Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Yeah, so it's been quite a bit since I last recorded this game and I had even... I still even had to do some stuff before I could record this because first of all what I want to show you is that um, I've used quite some time to get myself another love key so that we can do the next event when it occurs. I actually... Um, it would have occurred before, but I didn't do it because the timing was kind of, you know, it would we would have needed to watch a whole other part uh, afterwards. You know what I mean? Like the whole part before that happens, like after the um, after the first free time event in the night, like the whole thing with the transfer student motive situation. And I didn't really wanted to show you that, guys, because it took me quite some time. Uh, to skip everything again, and that's not all. The other thing is that I was <laughs> looking around for Monokuma dolls, and now I have like uh, four of them. I can I don't know where the fifth one is uh, because I didn't really see it yet. But yeah, so uh, in case you wonder where I found them, I think this one was where uh, the freaking. Where is it? Where the freaking game is, you know what I mean? This one game where we can escape if we are good enough. Like around this area. I'm not sure what it's called, but you can find it there. And this one is uh, one that I found in Kato's room. Which made me kind of sad because I looked around and I saw that Shuichi was kind of, you know, had his moments here and there looking at his, at his stuff. Oh yeah, so just in case you wondered about this, and it all took me almost an hour, and I'm so glad I didn't do it in the game, because it would have taken too long. I don't want to put you guys through this. Yeah, so the other thing was about, um, about your comments. I just really want to mention this, because I feel like I feel really bad, because I couldn't really reply to you all, and I thought maybe I would generally you know, reply to you all like this, like in the video a little bit before I will continue on. Right now I'm, I think, in the second, uh, like after the special event that we've gotten. I'm right now in the next, basically, in the next free time event, so I will definitely use this one because it will be, I think, for last before the main story continues. So what you guys told me... Oh my god, Kaede. We'll never get over her death. Never, as well as Ryoma's, this really hit me. And Kurumi and Rataru's was just shocking to me, like, these are like my thoughts about the devs. Yeah. But let's talk about a little bit about the people you've mentioned, like for example Miyu. It's very interesting what you told me, like, that she probably, as well as I thought, she probably doesn't have that much experience with boys. I mean, she was still getting quite flustered about some things. But she is, you know, acting in a way like, um, she is acting like, like, I, 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 like, in my opinion, she really acted like she is more like a child, but has just this outwards, you know, this outwards attitude, which is, you know, seemingly very vulgar and just is, uh, it's just the way she expresses herself, if you know what I mean. And what you also told me is that she probably... Well... My god, I don't have everything in front of me right now. I just like basically started off recording, so... What I think is that you guys told me that even though Shuichi was very kind to her, the feelings which she has, you know, developed for him were probably just, you know, feelings which she didn't really had uh, anyone else, yeah, like, seriously have before. I think everyone else before that were maybe trying to use her. And uh, this is why she was kind of, you know, about Shuichi's genuine feelings, like his interest in her and her um, inventions, I think that's maybe caused her, you know, to think that she is might, might be in love with him. But I think you guys told me that it's may probably not the case. So I, I'm also not really in, you know, I don't really think that, like, like I've said, I can't really ship shoot with anyone else in Kaede so far yet. I just can't because I can't get over her death yet, but uh, Miyu is, in my opinion, like one of the really special nuggets that really deserve the love and, 
you know, the recognition that she that she has to have. And but in the end, I really think that she is really not a bad person because all of her intentions that she tried, you know, her intentions to, you know, make him a little bit feel better with giving him this weird gifts. I think she really meant it good, but it turned out quite horribly in a sense because she put on her own flavor in that and so I really wonder well but why is she is maybe it's really just her character I mean some people are just the way they are so I really have to look over that again but that's just my thoughts about Mio like I think she's more like a childlike person like she like I've said very interesting she's like a child in a in a vulgar room, like she's a child with vulgar language, like this is just her way ex of expressing herself. Yeah, this is like my thoughts about her. And you all pretty much, yeah, you agreed that she was interesting, she was funny, there's not much to say, too, like not too much to say about her. She didn't really give us too much about her background, which is, well, I thought it would be a little bit more because she has her timid personality, which is quite, you know, very unique. In comparison to everything else like she seems very childlike and you know timid will while if you will bring very you know harsh with her not while she is harsh with you so yeah and she always like when she like when we hung out with her and when we first you know when we got angry with her or something she always she tried really hard to make us not hate her and then she of course turned back to being the usual Mew so I, I wonder why, maybe maybe we will learn about it in the main story, but maybe not. Maybe it's just like the way she is, but it's also like a sign of her childlike attitude. Yeah, so I think I will move in order with Tenko now. You've had some interesting thoughts about her, because that's what I always like thought, like the thing about her master was really kind of odd. You know, that she was... Um... Of course, that she has her hatred for men and the way that she was trained as a child already. She was sent to a temple because she had too much energy, probably because of her, you know, she just phrased it that way. But I guess she has some, she had some, you know, anger issues as far <laughs> as I understand as a kid. And you guys told me that maybe her parents even abandoned her at the temple and this is why she even you know this is why she grew up to be like that altogether because she was always there since then and you know I didn't even notice but she never like mentioned her parents again like she only mentioned them this one time where she told that when she was very young the parents like you know put her on in the temple so that she could become this you know that she can deal with her problems but she never like said that she spent any more time with them or that she actually, you know, that she got rid of a problem and went back home. So it it is quite, you know, possible because I, even though she said her parents were good people, like when I asked her about them, which makes me so sad because she really seems like this gullible, nice, you know, you know, very, very warm and kind-hearted girl. But like I've said, she is kind of gullible in a sense because, of course, her master is telling her all types of, you know, things. Like what you said, but maybe like you, like she said, the master kind of, you know, gave her the idea of hating men. And I was kind of confused because her master was, of course, a man, but maybe because he was kind of like a father figure, he, of course, said, okay, you can't date men because they're all like this and that, and she was like, oh, all right, <laughs> all righties. <laughs> and then this is why she developed these feelings, because so she put all these kind of, you know, all these thoughts about them inside her head like this. But despite that, she isn't like completely like by herself when something like when someone like you know Shuichi came up to her and was actually genuinely nice of course she didn't really accept it she just thought like it's just new Aikido he's not in me interested because that's what she really doesn't want and I'm kind of glad that it didn't turn out into something romantically because it just didn't suit her even though she is quite cute but um, with the way she is, she's really more like a really nice uh, friend. Like one of the, one of, she could be just one of the besties that we have. 
like a little bit like Kaito, you know. We both have quite a good energy together. So yeah, like it would make sense because of her being gullible and now in the situation where she is now with Angie, goddammit. We will come to her in a second, but yeah, this is like the thing about her. God, she hasn't been ever the same since. Yeah, like you've said, probably it's either that or the other thing. Like about her parents, I'm not sure. She never really mentioned them again. She mentioned, but it is quite interesting. She wouldn't even mention them at all if... Maybe she doesn't really understand it herself, like that she was kind of abandoned. Maybe she is, she is, she was kind of abandoned, but she doesn't really understood it that way. She maybe just took it as a nice gesture of her parents to help her, which is again showing that she is a very kind girl and doesn't think automatically bad of people that, you know, that are, that um, act is very nice to her. Which is why I'm so afraid right now that she might, you know, get into some... Oh, God damn it, into some situations that are not good. Let's just put it like that. I really hope she won't. Because I thought maybe... Of course, I thought, of course, uh, that Himiko would be very inflicted by this. But that Tanker got into it as well. Alright, that just shows me that there is definitely some type of gullibleness behind her. Yeah, so that's like my thoughts about Tenko. Very nice girl. S sadly, very gullible. We saw this now. The game confirmed it by Tenko getting into the freaking cold of Angie. And. But still so nice. Like, once you get into her good side, she accepts you. And oh my god, this was just amazing. I really still smile about that, as well as the same, the same feeling as with Kaito whenever he speaks to us, like, in the sense of he, he you, like, I'm always by your side, you can count on me, bro. And oh, this is just amazing. She would be a bad, she would be a good bro as well, if you know what I mean. Like, being the best homies or something. Yeah, but coming, we're now coming to the girl that is the most concerned and at least so far very most concerning and this is Angie. You've guys told me quite a lot of things which I'm very grateful about because I kind of, it was a long, you know, a long part and she was the last person so I really didn't think too much about some things. I was just kind of, you know, disturbed by them. But you guys are quite right about many things, like for example, Angie just casually telling us what her people and what her culture is doing. Like, it's so amazing guys, like you've told me for each event what it might mean. And in this case I will just kind of, you know, wrap it together. And I have to agree that throughout this culture things, throughout these, for us, so, you know, at least for me, like for me, such disturbing and... Uh, kind of, you know, weird freaking culture that she had there. It was just her environment. It was not herself. She was just, she just grew up in this place and she only learned that it was kind of, you know, not the usual once she got outside. And that's why she kind of indirectly, you know, um, how can you call that? She kind of developed this type of manipulative attitude just because of the people around her. They made her do the, they made, they made her into the person that she actually became. I can sense there's a really good and nice and, you know, bubbly personality behind Angie, but there's also, you know, this very darker side in her that just came from the culture itself that she lived in. And she couldn't, of course, oppose it in a sense because it was basically her life. It's like you can't really oppose the life because it's just everything you know. And she didn't know it any better. This is why she is the way she is right now. This is why also she's acting like that with us. And to see to see that she's actually, you know, trying to... And actually was able to get so many people on her side with her own ideas shows that she is quite skilled with manipulation. I'm not sure if she sees it as a bad thing because this is just what she was always used to do. And the thing about the Atua that you guys also had many theories about, like you've said, like in my opinion, I thought maybe it was just Angie herself, like her own mind. But the better thing to think about is that maybe Atua was really just maybe some type of imaginary person 
that she had for herself, like as a friend, because it's often mentioned that she was lonely, like not just one time, but multiple times. And this is why people, because of the way they already were in her freaking island, decided to call this imaginary being inside her head that she talked with probably just because she was lonely, which is inter which is quite possible for a kid to do. I mean, it happens multiple times. I know some people, I think I did it myself sometime, but of course it never really became into something like Angie, because I think people started to say, okay girl, you have a god with you talking, and she's like, okay, and then everyone was starting to listen to her because of that, and if it happened at a young age, it really affected her probably, and so nicely put also that you said it's kind of like Mikan, like from the second game, like kind of like her situation, like she couldn't change the way she became in the end because of the environment, because she even explained to herself, I am the person I am today because of the people, like because of many connections, like because of many people's connections, and that's basically the same thing um, with Angie right here. So, yeah, I definitely see Angie as someone who's maybe, who's probably and easily not at fault herself for becoming the person she is. But it's very good to know that she is not altogether, you know, a bad person. She is probably a very good girl. And she is fairly nice. She never really did anything to seriously hurt people and she really tried to make everyone kind of happy. But she has her own methods to do that and... It's of course not kind of our thing. So, guys, the best thing we can do right now is to see where the story will tell, you know, will lead us. I've, of course, I've talked again quite a bit, but I think it's alright. So, I mean, it is about, you know, replying to you guys. I will try to do this a little bit more often, you know. I will try to do it more frequently. I will try to at least do it, but if I'm not able to, you understand, hopefully, that it's just because of my freaking exam preparations that I have right now. It's it's going to be over by the end of uh, Febu February, kind of, maybe, maybe not. It's going till April, so I will see how far um, s until the end of March. So I'm going to see how it's going to, you know, turn out for me, and by the time I am actually free from my exams, I will definitely try to keep my uploads frequently guys so yeah so just in case you were wondering about it I will try to reply but it might oh might, might not happen but just so you know I am so grateful for your support with this guys because you guys your support is just everything to me you know seeing that you guys are you know thinking like telling me your thoughts reading them is just like showing me that you really think with me that you know that there are things that I didn't even think about yet because like for example I just saw Angie as someone very strange and in the end she was really, really just you know the person affected by her culture herself she isn't really at fault here she's just you know a victim basically really it's just a victim of a situation that she of her environment that's also what happens to many people you know it happens basically to most people who commit bad or to, or who do bad things. They are not technically bad people. They just had bad people around them or a bad situation. The same as in my other playthrough with the main character. If you see, if you look at that, maybe you can look at it a little bit. But the same is going on in that situation. Like you have your character and he has just the worst situation in his life and this is why he turned out to be the person that he is. If you want to know more, check it out or play it yourself, whatever you want. And yeah, and also the thing about her having these emotions for Shuichi, also just because he's one of the few people who actually, you know, changed his opinion of, uh, you know, not changed, but um, he actually kind of, you know, uh, reacted so differently from anyone else who ever spoke to her, like in a sense to yell at her and then saying that she is our, you know, that she is our, that she wants to be our bride. It's just something that probably 
really came just from the thought of okay so he's thinking differently and he has spending time with me so I guess he's going to be my husband something like this but you told me that it's probably not the same as in being in love because she doesn't truly seems to be in love but she seems to really need probably someone who can help her maybe come out of a situation like to be more herself which is which is what I was thinking like there are really not many I really didn't see much of Angie herself like her own character like the artist that she is actually and about her art it's very interesting that you guys told me that her art is probably something she creates without any motive at all this is why she is being the ultimate artist I didn't even thought about it but you're right because go away go away man god damn it so scared of that thing I have my bad experiences but yeah um you guys told me that her art has been created without any motives which is very interesting because she literally just sits down and is doing this you know this purely impulsive thing oh my god Kyo Kibo god damn it you scared me I was like holy crap who is that yeah but that's quite interesting, I never noticed, and I guess whatever she dis depicts in her pictures is something she probably only draws with certain things. Like, we only saw black paint in her room, like in her ultimate lab, so I guess she n doesn't draw with colors, as far as we see, and... Um, the other thing is that her pictures are probably depicting some things about her culture and something that might not be good for any weak heart so this is maybe why Shuichi actually you know fainted from the shock of seeing something like that so this is quite interesting to have such an impact on people with her art just by having this type even this type of, you know, art skills, is, which is, of course, a very ultimate level, but in her situation, I'm not sure what to think about it. Like I've said, there's no real Angie that I saw so far. I've just seen her Artua side, but herself, like her real self, is kind of, you know, lost by the culture that she was in, which is kind of really, really sad really tragic about that so I definitely see her in a better light at least in a more understanding light the same as in freaking Kokichi's uh, you know case but guys I think I've talked long enough about this I really just wanted to get it out of my chest I really had now to think because it's quite late but I thought I will probably not have the time to record tomorrow so we'll just do it right now so for this free time event that I still have right now I'm gonna hang out with the people I really wanted to hang out and which are Ganta and Tsumugi, which I consider to do next. And because I already did quite a few girls, I will just go with Tsumugi now. She likes disorder dislikes disorderly cues and Eva foam. I think I have some stuff that she might like, so first that where is she? Yeah, like I've already thought about which person I want to spend some time with and uh, where is she? So Mugi, where are you? <gasps> Maki? Can I hang out with Maki? Guys, wait a demon second. Can I hang out with Maki? I didn't even try that out. Maki, I'm coming for you! Please tell me I can. She's in her freaking lap, so... Where is it? No, that's the wrong way. Alright. Wow, I really had to talk my ch like, you know, my mind off in this, you know, in the beginning here. I'm so sorry you have to listen to all of that sometimes. But... I just wanted to make sure you guys know that I really appreciate you all for, you know, for responding so, you know, in such a nice amount. Like, it's, you always, you know, don't be, don't think that I will not like your, you know, your comments because they are kind of, you know, long. Look at my own videos, guys. I'm talking like a freaking train 
like on the freaking like I don't know you know what I mean I'm also talking my uh, my thoughts out in for quite some time so if I can do it guys you can always do it and you know I will love to see that because it's just it's just what you do in this type of game and you've guys you know you've told me that this is what you also enjoy about it so I really appreciate that so that's all I really wanted to tell you like I appreciate you every comment I appreciate you every thought and I will definitely talk about it if I can't reply to it I will either way talk about it even if I reply of course but just so you know guys please keep it up I love them they always make my day to see them and it's so nice to see you interact with each other as well it was so amazing I thought it was the cutest thing ever I don't know but <laughs> okay I'm Kind of, you know, losing here my track, so let's just go. Let's see if Maki wants to hang out with us. Huh? I can't believe it. Maki, do you want to hang out with me? What? No. Uh, uh, I don't have anything to say. Um, I just thought we could hang out, please. Maki? Please, we had some bonding time. Uh, I guess that's a no. <laughs> no. I thought that training with me and Kaito would bring us closer. <laughs> That's what I thought, Trichi. You think the same way okay. as me. Sure. Oh, Yes! Yes! Sure. <laughs> I'm so glad. Huh? Really? Oh my god. What are you trying to pull? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not trying to pull anything, don't worry. What's of your reaction? You're the one who invited me. Sorry. Uh, so sorry. I, I was just surprised. I honestly thought you'd reject me. <laughs> Aww. You don't know? Aww. All this time, I assumed I was just going to train with two idiots. You and Kaito. <laughs> we are the best idiots. <laughs> and I thought it'd be faster to give in to Kaito's demands. Uh, not sure how to feel about that. What do you mean? Oh my god. Even after hearing that, do you... God, that was, what was that accent? Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Uh, should I hang out with Maki? Yes! No questions asked, girl! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tsumuki. I, 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 I really wanted to hang out with her, especially after everything that's going on. I'm just crossing my fingers that none of them is going to die. Please. Please don't. Sure. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> Fine, I'll hang out with you, but I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. No, I won't. I... Oh, I think she likes something about sunsets or stuff. I spent some time with Maki, talking about nothing. <laughs> blah 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 blah. God, you can't even talk to me about anything. Uh, yeah. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Will you give to Maki a present? Definitely. Yes. Oh my god, what would she like? Oh, I don't know, Bo. Would she like something cute? I mean, she is a pretty sporty person. I'm not sure if she would like that. Oh my god, I don't know. It's something for Tsumugi. She's the ultimate assassin, so... What is, she, what is someone like that like? Oh my god. I'm such... Uh... Oh my god, guys, I don't know. Holy crap, what the hell? Maybe something like that? Uh, she's, she is pretty, you know, pretty athletic, but I'm not sure if she does regularly sports, so... Oh my god, I don't know. I didn't even save, so... Can I... Can I save? No, I think I can't. Uh. Oh god, what would she like, guys? Definitely not this. Maybe she would like... <laughs> Kaito's undercurrent. <laughs> no, no. Get the hell out of your thoughts. <laughs> Helping Yachi. Maybe something like that, I'm not sure. 
I mean, who else would like something like this? Pillow of admiration. <laughs> Making you feel intensely empty after you wake up. Oh. I don't know. What was she like? Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. Rockhard ice cream. Uh. Don't mix well. Cigarette can now. Skin is thick and a little rough. Oh my god, guys. Maybe something like this. Maybe she would like cufflinks too. Maybe? Let's try it out. Hmm. Please. Huh. You must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like that. Like this. Well, it's not like I mind. I'll take it. Aw, do you like it? Um, oh, she, she, you liked it good enough. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? You're not going to kill me, right? <laughs> oh, I believe in you, Maki. What is it? I already said it several times. Detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. God, I will definitely slap you and then put you in a kid's screen. <laughs> no, don't do that. Well, well, it's part of my job. It's kind of interesting because we're both the, you know, the kind of opposite of each other. You know, I would actually search for people like you. Is that just funny? No. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. Yeah, that's a good question. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. Yeah. <sighs> when assassination organizations disband after they become known... Known? <laughs> You're right. That is true. Oh my god. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Oh. Maki Maki's voice was confident, but sh she swiftly averted her gaze. Oh my. Hey. Alright, let's see. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? Holy Salvation? No. Uh, no, that's the first I've heard of it. Oh yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. A cult? Hmm. What? I thought we are over with Angie. <laughs> a cult? What does this have to do with your assassination spell? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong to. Huh? Holy crap. You belong to a cult? You're a detective. What the hell? Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. I thought... Wait... Do you mean that... Does she mean that... That she... That the cult is a disguise for the organization? Or is the organization actually a cult? while being a freaking assassination thing. Like, is, is it just a cult? Like, is it a cult and an, an assassination thing? Or is it just assassination with a cult as a disguise? That's what I wanted to say. So I guess it's both? It's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. But... Oh, uh, that, that sounds made up. Sure, whatever. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. Wow. That's... Hmm. The other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. I don't freaking care about those guys. I see. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country. Hmm. Man. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. I see. Hey. It actually makes a lot of sense. Like, God, I love that she's so honest because I've had too many people talking gibberish and being pretty, you know. Compared to everything I've, you know, experienced till this point, talking with her seems so refreshing. I mean, it was also very nice to talk with Tank, Mio, and Angie, but of course, I mean, Angie was a little bit difficult. 
Tenko was kind of, you know, that, like Tenko was difficult, Angie was hard to swallow, and Mio was Mio, you know, <laughs> she was herself. So it was, so talking with Maki like this in a very, you know, casual conversation about her, you know, about her assassination thing, is very nice, a nice change. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well, that's that's actually very right, yeah. Well, yes, it does give off that, that impression. Well, being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble either. And the boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. Okay, so it's basically more like the assassination thing, not just not a cult. I see. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Wow. Her tone was neither in demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she's just accepted that's the way things are. Then? God damn. Then I assume you're a devotee in this cult. That's wrong. Oh, of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with a club. With a club, with a cult. God damn it. But. Wait, can you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? <laughs> um, I'm still in training. Oh my god. That's true. I suppose she couldn't be. Well. Yeah. I mean, she would have probably had she had she would have probably have a completely different demeanor and wouldn't even show us any type of emotions. She would have probably killed us all already if she would have been truly a part of that society of this holy salvation society. There are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. I see. That's so you don't share that kind of information with each other. So maybe she really was just brought into this place because she said in the beginning that she was an orphan, like she doesn't have parents. So I wonder what's. I wonder when that happened. Maybe she will tell us more about it when we spend more time with her finally. But that will be probably in the next chapter then. So you don't share that kind of information with each other. Ah. Oh. That's obvious. God damn it, it scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> of co of course not. Don't, don't, please look at me like that, don't do it. When that time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Ah. Uh, that sounds pretty horrible, oh my god. So she basically lived with the thought of always being, you know, always maybe getting rid of, you know, of the place. So what I have an impression of this society is that basically the people took her in when she had no one. They made her into an assassin, but whenever she was not being needed anymore, they would have always and could have always thrown her away. Which she probably, you know, witnessed at some point with other assassins, like she said. And I'm not sure if it's true about her not, you know, getting along with anyone. Probably because I mean assassins don't really can they can't really associate too much with people. It's just you know it's pretty hard in their situation to do that to actually have a normal and casual relationship with anyone in some way. Her tone hadn't changed. She's just accepted it. Yeah, this is what they always you know t talked into her, I guess. Oh my god. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Oh my god. Maki, man. So a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories, I returned to my room. Yeah, this is actually quite incredible. <laughs> I I didn't expect it to be that, you know. It's pretty straightforward what she, t what she told us. Like what's going on there, and I'm glad that she is like this. This is very refreshing and nice. But I don't have to figure that out completely by myself. I mean, Angie gave us some tips of, some huge tips of the situation in her case, but nothing too direct. 
There's still time. Alright, I still have one more time, I think. So, I will just... Let me just read what it says. I'm so curious. I'm sorry. Maki, be Maki belongs to a cult-like society of assassins. If anything happens to her, she will never be able to return. Ah. Oh. Wow, that's interesting. That's... Came, like the, the, the conversation didn't came out like she said if anything happens to her she will never be able to return I mean oh my god <laughs> my throat but um, it basically means maybe I misunderstood what they just said let me see that we only get along with each other okay so we have to figure out why she so she's not really a part of a cult She's not. She's just affiliated with the cult. And several assassins beside her don't really get along with each other. And they don't share this information. Alright, so the information about the freaking society they, ha they are in, like the cult. At least not in, but, you know, affiliated with it. Assassins will be cut and disposed of. She just accepted it. What did I say to push her into that? Wow. Yeah, like, that's pretty hard. You know, to just take it into cons consideration that whatever you do right now is not even... doesn't even really matter at all in the situation. It's really harsh. Well, I think after that... I need some really nice time with because we it was it's, it's it was some it was a while so I think we can devote ourselves into the dear and beautiful boy Gonta Anthropos and bananas yes Gonta you will be my next wait I don't even know where he is wait 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 I'm going too fast oh he is there I see so he's right outside. I definitely have some things that you will love, so let's go. I'm excited. Gonta, where are you? Oh god, this thing. Anything else of importance, like some Monokuma dolls? I don't think there are any left that I need to find. So... Yeah. There he is. Oh, I really wanted to spend time with him after everything that happened. I was so sad, but I couldn't hang out with him at all because I'm, I could have, but I wanted to hang out with some other people and I was afraid they were, of course, cut off and then I wanted to hang out with the girls and now I'm glad that I can at least hang out with him now for a little bit and then in the next chapter he will be a priority. A beautiful little boy. <laughs> a little boy, I don't know why. All right. He's so much, you know, he's so much smaller. And innocent and kinder inside him like you know his soul is just so much more of a child than anyone else so god damn it but maybe we will learn more about him so let's see I'm very curious because he has some backstory of his own so yeah let's see if everyone dead is really alive we gotta save him no matter what yes I want to and I would definitely save him from Angie's situation going to protect you oh Gonta be shield, Gonta be spear, Gonta be whatever everyone needs. Gonta, please. Please, Gonta, stay safe. You can use me as your shield. Just don't die, Gonta. Please. I spent some time trying to calm down, Gonta. Please. Please do so. Gonta and I grew a little closer today. Yes. Yes, I will definitely hang out more. Alright, let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba. I have to have some things. I'm pretty sure he won't be too picky about whatever I give him. Uh, that's something that Mio liked. Maybe I don't have things for him, but I think I have. What's it say? All right, repulse ghosts. 
I have to have something for Gonta, right? Come on! Yeah, I have some underwear for him. <laughs> no! He likes bananas, but... <laughs> I don't have a banana. I'm not sure what you would like here now. Oh my goodness. Okay, this, gets, this just has gotten a lot harder than I imagined. I... I... Uh, I don't know. Gonza, what do you like? Oh boy. I think something cute maybe, if you would love it. I don't want to give him anything weird. So maybe a helping Yachi. Maybe this. Please love it. Please love me. Gonza? Thank you. What? For Gonta? Thank you, Shuichi. I will love this Yachi forever. Gonta not get gifts often. Gonta happy. Very, very happy. Oh. Thank you. Oh my god. Gonta, my boy, my love, my my child. Thank you, Shuichi. Huh? Huh? For what? Hey! For inviting Gonta. Gonta very, very happy. Oh my god, Gonta. <laughs> Oh my god, Gonta, give me a hug! Give me a hug right now! This may be first time Gonta spend free time with anyone! <gasps> Except for Kokichi, but don't let's not talk about this. Oh my god, baby Gonta. I won't hang out with him so badly after this chapter, so please stay safe. <laughs> my little golden boy, stay safe. I will definitely protect you, Gonta. I swear to God, I will. With my almighty Ahoga, I will protect you always. He's breaking my heart with each sentence. Look at his pure smile. Look at his happiness, guys. I think I'm gonna go blind. So, Gonta will work hard. Treat Trisha like true gentleman. Oh. No. Oh my God. Uh, it's okay, Gonta. You don't have to be so intense. Just talking is fine. No. No, it's not fine. Shuichi invited Gonta. Um. But but what should we do for fun? Think, Gonta. Think. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, Gonta. No. No. Come, we race. <laughs> oh, such a beautiful answer. Huh? A race. Hey. I'm not a good runner, Gonta. Gonta, good at running! Running full speed for four is so much fun! <laughs> oh, that's such a cutie. Fools feel good to run like wind. Maybe nice change of pace. Oh, He claims to be a gentleman, but now he wants to race? Oh my god, wait, wait a second, guys. My voice is cutting off. Alright, I feel a little bit better now. I can feel my throat again. <laughs> Alright. May I go on to baby? Okay. Alright, Gonta, if you want to race, let's race. I will definitely beat you. Mm. Oh god. Okay, then let's go. Oh shit. Yeah. Gonta grabbed my hand and pulled me firmly, and I ran along be behind him. Oh! Oh my gosh! Wait, Gonta, you're running too fast. Oh! I had forgotten what that Gonta was raised in the wild. Of course, he's athletic. Yeah. See? Not yet. To run like wind, gotta run way faster. <laughs> oh, Gonta! Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Jesus! After being dragged along by Gonta, I began to trip over my feet. Aww. Exhausted, I began to stagger, and unluckily the stairs to the basements were right there. <gasps> Gonta, catch me! Whoa, I am gonna fall! This big problem! No, Gonta, save us. Please save me! Shuichi! I heard Gonta shout and felt my body being pulled back. Holy crap. Ugh. Whoa! Oh my heart! God damn it! <laughs> Slay all. Gonta yanked me back towards him, and when it hit, when I hit his chest, we both fell over. Oh, this is cute as hell. 
or so I thought. Gonta didn't even flinch when I hit him. <laughs> of course, I was kind of surprised when he mentioned that you both fell. Of course Gonta will not fall. Gonta never falls when he doesn't want to. <laughs> Aww. You all right? Shuichi, you're okay. Oh, oh, Shuichi, okay? Oh. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm okay. That was close. Thank you for saving me. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. No, thank Gonta. Gonta makes Shuichi run. It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta, don't be sad, please. Sorry. Gonta, not very fun after all. No! I apologize for being so much trouble. Why did you invite me? I had fun. Uh, I don't know. I think we will start to apologize. Like, seriously? Why did you invite me? It's actually... I. You said that, of course, this is a thing about how you feel. It's nothing about a good or bad, uh, you know, answer. It's more like, what do you want to know? And with this, you will be happy, which I will like. But with this, you will tell me more about, like why he would make us do this. And with this, we will probably have some kind of awkward situation. So, um, let's maybe ask this, because I really want to know more about him. Then, why did you invite me? Kaito looks like he'd better, he'd be better at running. Aww. Mm. Invite Kaito. We got Kaito again. Shuichi, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, don't worry, Kaito. Just connecting some relationships. Maybe you should ask Kuchichi. He is amazing at running, you know? What the fuck? <laughs> uh. In invite Kaito. You sure? Gonto not <laughs> wanna make trouble. That's... Oh my goodness. Uh, I think as long as you don't force him to come, it will be alright. Yeah, let's try Gonto. Um. Uh, um, Gonto, I had a lot of fun running with you. Hey! I'd like to do this again sometime. Oh god, I love it so much. <laughs> I love Shuichi so badly because he's such a nice little nugget. I'd like to do this again sometime. The next time I need another change of pace. Yeah. Aww. Another change of pace. That's so cute. Got it. God damn it, Shuichi. You always know the best thing to say. You know, in the end he said exactly what we would have said anyway, so that's kind of interesting. But it's interesting to see that Gonta actually had to think about, you know, not taking someone by force, which we already saw, you know, in Kokichi's sense, like, that he was able to easily manipulate Gonta to drag everyone into this meeting, despite her, you know, despite them being against it, you know, clearly running away from him in the second chapter, but he didn't listen to it, which is interesting. I mean, why would he do that? Maybe it's something about, you know, the people, like the animals that raised him. Maybe that's some kind of instinct in him. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just my, you know, this is what I'm assuming. Let's see. Okay, then Gonta wait. Invite Gonta anytime. <laughs> I will do this, Gonta. Gonta do anything for Shuichi. Gonta protect you, like Jangle, right? <laughs> Give me a hug, my boy, please. I want you. I want to protect you so much. Oh my god. Gonza is spring with positivity and I feel blinded. I am so melting inside my heart. Gonza really is pure. I know, right? The purest little nugget boy I have ever seen. God damn it. Smiling to myself at Gonta's innocence. <laughs> of course we all are. I return to my room. We all are smiling at his innocence. Even Shuichi is having fun. It's interesting because it seems almost like having a little brother. Which is kind of cute because he is not little. <laughs> Aww. Oh shit. What the hell? Ah, Monotaro is out from being punched by Monodam as punishment. Oh shit. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. Okay. When Monodam and I are in a break, we'll leave the rest to daddy. Um, what? Holy crap, what the shit? 
He's not even talking. Like shit, what? It's happening, guys. The announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it's night time. Time to train, but is Kaito okay? I swear to god, he is okay. <laughs> okay, good. Ah, uh, and now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. Alright. Let me save because I'm still kind of scared to always open. You know, always open the door at night is still a pretty risky thing to do. So, after this amazing little adventure. Oh, let me see what Gonta's thing says before we die. <laughs> Gonta is obsessed with being a gentleman. Oh, it's a bit strange that he grew up in the wild, but his enthusiasm and his positive attitude is endearing. I know! He's such a sweet child. Such an innocent little nugget. Whoever you are, I can smack the shit out of you, so you better don't try me. I swear to god, I will smack you. Like this. Do you, did you saw? Did you saw this? I can smack you, so don't you dare do something to me. I, I swear to god, it's, I hope it's Kaito. I'm always pretty, you know. You know, always... Because usually we always go outside. So it's kind of weird that he will drink us. With the doorbell still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened to find... And opened it to find... Yes? Oh! Maki. I guess she is here. To get us? Huh? Huh? Maki? Kaido's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Oh, just the two of us? Jeez. Alright. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys when flaked out. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with Kaito? But. I think it's about. Uh, well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. No. What are you making excuses for him? You're right. Yeah. Well, she's pretty hardcore about this. She doesn't accept any excuses. Uh, no. I... I guess you're right. Hey, let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. God damn it. Freaking amateur. <laughs> uh, so we're really going to do this. Training. Just the two of us. Alright. Maki. Wanna talk? No. Okay. And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Okay. Let's do that. Well, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> but it's interesting that she still pulls, you know, through with doing this training despite Kaito not being here. Because he really is like, please keep on training. Which makes me a little bit sad, like, thinking that he's lying in bed, not feeling good, and we still do it for him, in a sense. Come on, guys. Uh, Maki, do we want to talk, you know, um, uh, what, um, uh, yeah. Do, do you, what do you think about my ahoga? Shuichi, you're not good at talking, are you? <laughs> no. But, uh... Hey. All right, good. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. It's something different, Maki. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. I don't know why, but I love the situation because it's something different, but I actually didn't expect guys i'm like kind of stunned seeing this now it's kind of only now started to register me now seeing them talk i thought it would just you know quickly go by but to see them talk is quite quite interesting i like it when i'm with kaito i feel like all of that stuff just fades away yeah do you look up to that idiot of who isn't uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. He's more, he's my best support hero ever. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. That's right, especially in that combination. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. <sighs> I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. Yeah. 
Uh, thanks for that compliment. Maki sprang up and said, Hey. 100. I'm done. Maki seems nonchalant and she, as, she brushes, as she brushes off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast, as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push ups until I passed out. 100 push ups is nothing. What the hell? Oh man, these guys did not treat her well. Huh? Oh shit. What? <sighs> oh. About Kaito. They have a fitting music, Heartless Journey. About Kaito, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. Uh, but I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. Oh. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like in her hanging out of her, seeing that whatever she does, she could always get rid of. She's, she could always get, like being, being rid of, of herself, you know, and knowing that she never even tried and they didn't even made her to, you know, made her think this way as well, you know, you're, you're, you could easily be replaced or... You're not, you could not be worth of our time or whatever. God. Well, after everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. Maki. Wow. I didn't ask to become this way. It just happened to me. Exactly, like being the victim of your fucking environment. Same thing as Angie. Anything. We're all being kind of, you know, influenced by our environment, but in the end, all we can do is to try to find our way through it and find ourselves, you know, find our way in the life. In life, that's why we're all different, even though we live in this, maybe live in the same environment as the others, because everyone is, you know, such an interesting topic now. After what I've been, what I've been through. And I still even... Am I still even human? Even Kiba acts more human than me. Maki! Maki, you're still human, no matter what. Yeah, like, she has her attitude, but that's also making her who she is. Maki, you're, this, you're just fine with where you are. Because. But I had no choice but to... God... This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But... Yeah... God damn it. Uh, but... I'm kind of the same... way. Well... I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money... It's the worst. Okay. Yeah... But now, I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Kaede and Kaito that have helped me see things that way. <laughs> my... My two angels. Yeah, Maki. You just need people like those, too. And she... You, she has already, you know? She has... She told us that. Oh. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Well, I didn't ask to. God damn it! Maki's face remained totally unfaced as she turned and walked away. But I bet her mind is, you know, boggling and thinking about stuff. Maki. Ah, see you tomorrow, Maki. So cute, like she, she's always like, calling out to people. She didn't reply and kept walking. All right. All right then. I'm still a little worried about Kaito. He seemed off since this morning. I hope that it's, it's nothing serious. I hope so too. I really do. Oh crap. What the hell is happening? Um, are we in her perspective? Yaha! Angie? Welcome back, Maki. 
You finally came. What is going on? Uh. Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? God damn, what the shit? Why, why are we all here? Guys, what are you doing? Why? I am not violating any school regulations, am I? Yeah! But Akuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... What the shit? But Kirumi's crime happened during night time, right? But... What the... Uh, well, they are right, but... If no one was allowed to walk around at night time, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. Oh, couldn't have. Well, there is some truth in that. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Uh. Well. Limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away, is that it? My, my! Jesus Christ. Nya ha ha ha! You're so odd, Maki! What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Oh yeah, this is definitely coming from her culture side, you know what I mean? She was not in... Angie never had some type of freedom herself in her environment. This is why she can easily save us. She can easily dismiss us by, you know, making this type of choice. It's just... Oh. Yo, yeah, Maki feels the fucking... Uh, like She's like, get this shit out of my way. Uh... Wow, goddamn. What is... Guys, please don't do anything to her, okay? We are... You can just talk us out. Trichy is right outside if anything's going on, so... Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. That's not the point, Angie. God damn it. Because that's what Achua says. How divine! That's what Achua says. Uh... Angie? Atua says... Yes! People are afraid of you, Maki, so we'd prefer it if you were more careful. Guys... Hmm... It's for the peace of the Academy. <laughs> That's what I feel right now, guys. I want to screech. God damn it. What are they doing? I mean, she... Maki! Holy shit, I didn't even notice, but the thing with the little, you know, the little Monokuma who usually, you know, rolled to a film, it's no one of them as well. God damn. What is the point of human life? They're born as useless babies who can't do anything. Wow, what a thing to say. And 17 years later, they're useless the old people who can't do anything. <laughs> wow. Hell is toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. Wow, thanks for making me so much feeling better. Oh! Um. Uh! Uh! I. God. Damn it, did I save? I don't remember, guys. Did I save? You know, I, tr I said I think this is the last time before anything will probably happen in the next day because of shit hitting the fan real fast. So let's just use the love key and I hope I will get one of the girls. Alright, let's see. Come on, ladies. Cross my fingers, Maki. <laughs> no, no, Maki. She can't accept me. God damn it. Let me just now skip this. All right, this will take maybe a little bit again. No, no, no. I want to. Yes. Yes. Continue on, please. All righties. Right. Oh no, this is exactly the perfect way to do this. Alright. Let's just skip this, even though I feel bad for skipping this, because it's a pretty important, you know, it's a pretty important discussion. 
quite sad, but... The thing about Angie and the rest of all, what the shit was that all about? Jesus, go look at that. Everyone just kind of appeared. No! Alright. I wonder, what would we, what do we want to do? Okay. Yes. Come on, girls. I only need three ladies. Mew! Alright! Let's do this. So one thing that you guys told me is that in this situation right now, we're basically playing their ideal, like Monokuma said, but he didn't really describe it that well, in my opinion. And it just basically means we are trying to act out for people they are idealing, you know, I, they're, I, which is an ideal that they want as a lover, in a sense. And we have to kind of fulfill the role. Of course, sometimes it's not really possible, like in Q's sense it was pretty messed up. We already talked about this, but it's basically what we are doing right now. We're being like the perfect, this is actually, like, you know, the occupation of being a perfect dominatrix. like playing out the best ideal role they want. So that's actually the case. It's not really about Shuichi being Shuichi, but whatever they imagine him to be. It's interesting now to think like what type of person is their ideal? Like is it closer to the real Shuichi or is it closer to someone else? So let us see now. What is Mio's gonna be? Oh my gosh. After everything we've seen from her, I can just imagine this is gonna be just fantastic. Alright, Mio, let's do this. Goddamn, now it's the ladies time. Alright. <laughs> Starting off good. Oh my god. Every time I come here, I play the role of her ideal. Like some shared fantasy. Mio's fantasy. I am prepared for total absurdity. <laughs> You know. All right. Hey, Shuichi. Huh? huh? What is it? <laughs> I got some fan fucking tastic news that I'll put that'll put a smile on your face. <laughs> okay. Hehe. <laughs> and since we're childhood friends, you get an exclusive inside scoop. What? So her ideal is childhood friend? So you better. Feel real fucking special. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. I see. Super childhood friends and her fantasy. That's why she's being so nice to me. Okay. I should be nice to her too. If I'm not careful, she might wake up. Yeah. You know. So yeah, about this news. Okay. Girl, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> same thing, Shuichi. I feel the same. What's going on? Why did she get quiet all of a sudden? Um. <laughs> yeah? Oh boy. You? You can have your way with me if you want. Oh shit. Huh? I can what? Why you? God damn it. I knew at some point it will be coming. You didn't hear me? You're such an asshole. I just said you could have your way with me, you fucking asshole. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I heard you. I just... I don't understand. Why? Oh boy. Huh? Uh, why? Why? It's just that this is so sudden. I... I... It's only because I wanna... Thank you. Shuichi? Huh? What? Thank me. Wh what? Wait. So you want to tell me, Miu, that whenever someone is being nice to you or in some type of grateful sense? Oh no. I, I mean, what better reward for a man Out of my way. than this slamming sexy ass body of mine? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, Mio, don't tell me you've been doing this type of thing. So this is her way of, you know, appreciation? Showing her gratitude? <laughs> so that's why she was doing all these weird things, so this is- oh my god. No. I I'm going to ignore the last bit, so why do you want to thank me? What was that? God damn it. Huh? You really don't know? And you call yourself my childhood friend? That's- I'm sorry, I- 
I really don't know. Come on, me, please tell me. I'm so confused. What a nice music, becoming friends. Wow. Um, don't laugh. Okay. Okay. All right, I won't laugh. Um, you won't shout at me. Oh, she is really afraid of being, you know, of being talked down, even though she herself is pretty outgoing and aggressive sometimes. Maybe even not trying to be, you know, lightening the mood in her way, but she really doesn't like these things, like not. It's like being, in a sense, like bullied, you know? She's very afraid of that. It's, you know, asking me not to shout, not to laugh at her. Wow. Like her own self worth is, like, not worth, but her own self worth and self confidence is very, very low. Leave it to me. Of course I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What's it gonna be? Ever since we were kids, Shuichi, you've always taken care of me, you know? You held my hand everywhere we, we went. You stayed by my side no matter what. And you're still doing that for me. Wow, this is... Wow, this is so cute. I didn't thought it would get this cute. <laughs> You're the only one who sees past my act and knows the real me, Shuichi. Wow, this is very direct. I see. We must be very close in this fantasy. Yeah. Um, if I, I didn't have you in my life, I'd probably be in a gutter or something. Wow. You have a reason I can hold my head up high as the ultimate inventor. And so, I wanted to thank you. But you said you didn't need my inventions, that I should use them to help people. Oh. So I didn't have anything else to offer you as thanks, except m myself. God damn it, Mio. So she first of all tries to please someone with her inventions, which she showed in her free time events, and then she just, like, when she doesn't think of anything, like, invention-like anymore, she basically turns her mind into a vulgar sense, like, you know, using, you know, making herself into this type of, you know, reward thing. Oh boy. So this is why she was starting to act during the end, you know, the way she was. I see, so that makes a lot of sense now. Mew's sentences sputtered out half spoken. Her face was cherry red. Um, oh my god. No, that's just an excuse. What I really want is. your baby. Ah. Uh, of course it will come down to this! <laughs> okay, okay, god damn it. You want my child? <laughs> well. God damn it. <laughs> she changes so quickly from being completely timid to being like this. Oh, what the hell? So hard to understand. God, you're so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. With my beauty, brains, and talent, you're running personal and you're running personality. <laughs> Why that's the recipe for the perfect child? <laughs> Best bow of both worlds, baby. Oh my god. I fucking roll! Oh my god. We just gotta give the kids the right education, let them invent whatever, and we're set for life. Mio. God damn it. What? Is that all you want to say, Mio? What is it? Are you gonna fuck up my perfect plans for our future? Or is it? You don't want that future with me? Uh, <laughs> is this challenge really a thing we have to do? Yo, I didn't think she would think this far. At least she thinks about the future, but I don't... <laughs> oh god. You won't let me be your girlfriend, Chewie because you don't need me? Is that it? She's so scared of not being needed. She wants her, as you know, a stability in her life, which is someone that close to her. 
I'm not sure if she really has someone like that, but that would be certainly her idea, you know, someone who knows her since she was little, you know, you know, having her be with her this time, like, you know, you know, how do you call this? Like, what is, in some sense, Kaito doing, like, supports you throughout every hardship you have? You know, keeping you high up with your head and with your moral, so that you won't, you know, get crushed by your own, you know, uh, self-doubt and stuff like that. So, I can see where she's coming from, but this is very extreme, Mia. No! I don't want you to abandon me, too! So we... we gotta make a baby! Mew! It's not that this breaking... <laughs> but what does she mean by abandon me too? Does it mean that people abandoned her before? I guess she has some bad experience of that. Oh boy, because probably people didn't really look behind past her personality and didn't really accept her. Which makes me think about the situations where we actually didn't really, you know... Where she told me that she didn't even eat with the people anymore. Like she she was eating alone and where she was kind of, you know, secluding herself. This is so... I feel so bad right now. What the shit? But the solution is not the way... <laughs> God damn it. Seriously, I'll leave that to you. I have to make sure you won't abandon me. This is the only way. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't deny this all right? Oh my god. Is that how she truly feels? Come on, please. I want you. I need you inside me, Shuichi. Oh my god. Okay, this is the type of fan service everyone wants to hear and see. Um Shuichi, what are you gonna review to that? Okay, I uh I I can give you some other type of, you know, some other type of, I don't know. Okay, that's okay, right? Please. Okay, so she really just wants this one security that gives her, you know, the sense of. But it's extreme. Like, but she herself says, "Yeah, let's do a baby. That's the only way to make sure that we both will ever, forever be together." Uh, of course not. There's no way I could do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. You motherfucker! If you're not gonna use that dick of yours now, then when, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mew! Oh my lord. Praise the sun. You know what? Fuck it! Come here, Shuichi. I'm gonna squeeze every last drop out of you! Oh shit! Huh? Wait a minute! Shit. Oh god, and that's how it ends? Mm hmm. We don't. <laughs> of course, we don't want to know the details. At least this is probably uh, quite. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's in the same type of sense, like in Q. Like being a little bit too forceful in this, ty in this situation. Well. I really don't want to judge because Q is a guy and Mew is a girl because both have like kind of a very forceful demeanor in this situation, so... Oh boy, I have to do Angie and... Uh, Tenko will probably be very interesting, but Angie... Boy... Mio, you don't need to force yourself on us, please. But this is kind of, you know, I should have expected that in her situation. <laughs> And that's how she, she lost his innocence for real. First his innocence and now his virginity. That's the way to go. Oh my god. I see. Oh my god. What? Is it morning already? Last night with Mio? Was that a dream? I hope so. A crazy wild dream. <laughs> what a nice description. Uh, so that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. Well, I suppose I go to the dining hall. All right, it's time, boys and girls. Time to do the next fucking thing. Okay, so me won't be our last girl. 
but she was our first girl. So that's a thing. Oh guys, I don't know how to handle like at least I thought that Mew would definitely be the one who's going to be the go coming onto us the hardest, you know what I mean? And she definitely was. I will try now to save, you know, shortly before we skip to the announcement. So I won't have to go through this too much. Right, let me try this out. All right. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, so before she gets, before she gets her dot dot dot, she's going to be kind of, you know. All right. Yes, I want to use it. Come on, ladies, come to me. Mew again, oh my god, Mew. No, Mew, that's a bad Mew. We already did it. Literally. Give, you have to give me some room now, Mew. I'm sorry. Oh god, it will take a little bit again, but I hope it's okay, guys. But at least we got some nice, sweet love sessions. Oh my god. It was very interesting, like Mew was really desperate, like she was probably abandoned multiple times because of her personality, which happens, you know, it happens if you are the way you I will talk about it in a second. <laughs> it's kind of constructing me a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Alright. No! Oh god damn it, I skipped it again. At least it's kind of fast, so it's okay. Alright. Lose the love key, yes. Come on. Mew is so high up. Oh my god, Mew. Oh my god, Mew. Please. It's. I know, I know it's tempting, Mew, but you have to get it. You have to stand back now, please. Let's see if I'm able to do this now before it will happen. It will be actually quite nice. Alright, let's see. Dum -dum 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 -dum. It's shortly after Angie is doing like her thing where she goes back and forth, so... Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Glad that it's quite fast. Adora! How divine! <laughs> yes. Hmm. All right, it's right here. I will save now, and so we don't have to see all this other stuff before. And yeah. So we can continue on, hopefully. Come on. Alright. We're just a lot faster. Yes, yes. Give me the good things. Mew! Oh my god, Mew is really onto us. I... She's really, really onto us. Oh my goodness, guys. I really hope she's not now the only girl I need to do. Like, <laughs> need to do. Okay, this is the wrong way to say it. Alright. It's a lot faster. Yes. Come on. Another person, please. Ah, ah, no. No, 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 no. No, no ropes anymore. I'm so afraid of him not right now because of the way he's acting now and the way he was acting when it happened in this situation. I didn't got him at all the other times and now he's just coming up like it's nothing. It's not fair. 
God damn it, Kyo. Kyo and Mio, both of them are kind of really forceful. So, let's see. Come on. I can't believe this. Kyo, why? Why do you want me so badly? It feels like sometimes it's also loading depending on how much a person wants you, in a sense. So this is why Q and Mio are like showing up now constantly. God damn it. It's loading. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Even, you know... Oh my god. Like, right after another, like... God damn it. Oh, Maki. <laughs> She's so not happy to be with me. But I'm very curious about what her idea might be. But we'll see this in the next time. It's interesting too because the chances now are of course a lot different because uh, Ryoma and, um, it's, uh, and uh, Kirumi are not here anymore. Which, you know... Which makes the chances of getting someone else a lot higher, but kind of sad, but still. It's very interesting. So, it's now seeing this, it really is cha has changed quite a bit. Kyo, for the love of God, please leave me alone, Kyo. I like you, my boy, but you have not been getting... Like you guys said, you're not been getting the brownie points, okay? Please back off. Please. I can't. I can't handle this. If he's getting too much onto us. It's just too much. It's too much happening. Can't handle Q. Yes, please. Come on, I have Mio. I only need now, uh... Freaking Angie. I, could... I can't believe this! It really depends on the chapter too, right? I mean, right now he's pretty much in his element, so I guess he's, you know, more willing to go into the fantasy now. Is that it? I can't believe this so much. Come on, Angie. At least you need to come soon. And you too, uh, Tenko. You have no right to, do to defy me. <laughs> okay, this sounds really wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> You all, you all have a right to defy me, it's okay. Especially you, Tanko, you can always defy us. If you don't want us. Mew, Q, and freaking Maki. Guys, please. Especially Tank, like, not Tank, Tanko too, but Angie, why is she not coming up? I mean, she's such a huge role, is she just not, like, into this whole thing? God damn it. God damn it. Come on. So probably take a little bit now. Oh my god, at least it's going quite fast. Wow, even if the chances are higher to get someone else, I'm always getting... Wow. Wow. Wow, oh, what a fucking success. <laughs> oh, why? Why do you guys always come back to me, guys? Please back off from me. No, Shuichi, you have you can't do it with me again. No. No. Please. Let's not do anything anymore. I do need some time with my girls. Angie, thank you, come to me. Ladies. <laughs> guys, what is happening? These guys. Q and... Uh, Kukichi were so hard to get and now they just coming up? Do you... I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this, Kyo! Kyo, back off, man! I don't want your robes! Oh my god. You can never escape me, Shuichi. Never. Just embrace the robes. Embrace the feelings. Embrace the humanity and the beauty. <laughs> no! Guys, save me. Please. Oh my lord. 
Pretty please. Pretty please. Give me another person. Someone else. I... 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 <laughs> Mew is like... Kyo was like, get back off, girl. It's my turn. <laughs> and now Kyo is... <laughs> Mew is like outside waiting like, what the shit? This guy just came up and cl like brushed us all aside. <laughs> I can never escape the ropes. I can never escape the ropes. <gasps> Why? Uh, it would not be that bad if he wouldn't be so forceful with us. Please. Give me someone else. Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. It will be so hard to get Angie or Tenko. I'm literally, literally stuck in some kind of cycle of... I don't know... of pain. <laughs> is, that, is that how you can call this? I feel so betrayed by everything. Oh my god. Yes, please. I beg you, give me someone else. Please, uh, at least it's not ropes. <laughs> at least it's not ropes. <laughs> wow, I never really got Maki that often in the other time. The last time I got probably everyone except Kyo. He was so hard to get and now he's just popping up constantly. What? Is this madness? God damn it. I can't believe what Q is doing to me. I just can't. Yes. Alright. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh goodness gracious, this is gonna take some time. I can already feel it in my bones. You get, it, It's possible to get everyone. You just need to be patient. So guys, let's be patient and hope that somehow... I can't believe I got the two people that were the hardest to get in the last time. Like Kokichi and freaking Kyo. And they both know, like they both came up so early on. I can't believe this. I'm so mad at this too. Like, they're kind of mocking me. You too, Maki. You're mocking me so much. God damn it, Maki. I guess she really wants us in her fantasy now. She, she, pushed, she pushed aside Kyo and is making us now into her. God damn it. But I wonder really what her, you know. I bet it, it will be just like someone who is accepting her for the way she is. You know, someone just a kind-hearted person. I think that would be Maki's ideal. Kind of like the person who would ultimately get everything from Mio, depending on... yeah. Kokichi, why? Why do you do this to me, man? Why? Uh, don't, don't worry yourself. We didn't saw anything of me today, okay? We need some time, you know, some screen time with me. So it's A-okay. Get away, please. I understand you. I care about you. Like I care and understand the other people too. But you have to back off now. <laughs> nope, I will never back off, Shuichi. You can't get rid of me ever. I know this too. So please. Maki, if you're there, please get the kids crate and put them inside where I don't. I just. <laughs> like. God damn it. Uh, I can't believe this. I can't. <laughs> what is the cycle right now? First Mio, she was like, Okay, Shuichi, now we have to do this, yeah. 
I was like, okay, yeah, Mio, we have her in my, you know, in my free time list. And then Cube was like, okay, come on, bitch, get the fuck out of my way. It's my turn. And Cube was constantly coming up. And then Maki was like, all right, guys, you know what? You can all back the frick away, and it's my turn. And now Kokichi came up and be like, nope, now it's my turn. Guys, I feel so betrayed. Where is the hope? Where are my people? Where is everyone else? Are these guys pushing them away? Is that it? No, 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 no. Yes. God damn it. Kokishi, I swear to God, stay away. <laughs> you wish. I wish, yeah. Oh god, it's the same thing. It's like... I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, why? Oh. I need to get away from this place. I need to get away. I need to run. Please. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, please. I'm so freaking tired of this now. I'm so tired of freaking Q. Of Kokichi and even of Maki suddenly. Please. <laughs> Girls, boys, please. Make some space for the other people. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Why is it so difficult? Why are there always those guys? Why do always they come up? Oh my god. Come on, people. You can't be serious with me. Yes, please. Give me Angie or Tanko, I swear. Please, I plead with you guys. Oh, Maki, why? I didn't even hang out with you. I wish I did, because she comes up so often, I can't believe this. Oh my god. Well, I, was, I, I would never see Maki than anyone else, except for the people I need to see. So, it is... It's okay. Yeah. It's alright. Yes. I would love to see who is my loving one. Dum 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 da dum dum dum. Goli 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 da dum dum dum. No. I said nope. Please. Yes. Uh huh. I'm losing my mind, guys. Why is it so hard to get anyone? Because it's not like there are. The chances are like. Is it because the chances for each person to get picked again is so high? Isn't it like a fair chance to get everyone the same, you know, the chance is high to get anyone? Oh, hello there, Jolly. <laughs> oh, why? Because I said so. <laughs> Let's make it official. No! Kokichi, get away, please! Maki Kokichi, Maki Kokichi. <laughs> because she always tries to break out of a freaking kid's crate. While Maki tries to hold Kiyo off with ropes. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what's going on in the back there. But these three guys. Like, Mew is being like, pushed aside so far that I didn't saw her at all the whole time. Which is so insane. Who is it now? Oh my god! Oh my god! Why do you do this to me, Kokichi? Because I love you so much! You have to care about me, okay? What the shit are you doing here? 
I'm definitely gonna escape the kids crate and you're definitely gonna do this with me again <laughs> official no this is not why I gave her to a freaking thing so stay back okay nope I will never stay back just imagine how hard it will be to get someone specific later on just imagine when Kokichi will basically always pop up <laughs> like always whenever you do the love hotel scene He's going to be always the person who shows up and the chances are going to be the chances are going to be so little to get anyone else. I hope not. I hope his chances are all the same. But it doesn't feel like they're all the same. Oh my god. I have to wait a little screen time this part, so I'm gonna show up now every so often. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, man? Guys, I'm so sorry that it's taking so long. I don't know why Kokichi, Q, and Maki decided to gang up on me, but it's kind of like I can't get close to anyone else, like no one. I should have been able to get... I mean, there are so many other people. Why am I stuck on those three? Is it, okay, is it normal? It was so much different the last time. I can't... I, I just don't understand. Please. Please. Why? Q, why? Tell me, guys, what am I doing wrong? Is it because I hung out with them? Is that why they show up so... so much? But I also hung out with other girls. Please. Please. Come on. It's It can't take me that long. I really want to see more about the main story, but the game is not letting me. Alright, let's see who's that time. Mio, what a surprise. At least she's somewhat different. Ah, did I finally break out of a cycle of doom? Oh my god. God. Yes, please. Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's so late. But I need to do this because I really want to see now. Because I won't be able to do it later. Come on. I beg you. Please do it now. Please give me Tanko or Angie. Oh my god, guys. This is not cool at all. <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh, I skipped it by accident. Um, 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 um. Good, I didn't really read anything because it was too fast, but I didn't mean to do that, guys. <laughs> I guess I'm already losing my mind. But as far as I could tell from the mood, I guess we will talk something about... Like, uh, we will probably talk about her past, and that she's finally able to open up to someone, probably. Maybe. Come on. Ah. We officially did Q once. And I'm not ready to do him again, so nope. And he is not ready to do me again as well, so... Yeah. No. Yep. Yes, I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. I'm hurting inside. Kiwo keeps bugging me. With ropes. Hokichi trying to live of his pie. And coming up to me, nerving my stresses. God damn it, Kikichi! Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry, guys. It's like it's almost 4 a.m. Maybe you could have seen this from my clock here, but I am actually losing my mind. I am actually losing my mind. This game is breaking me. <laughs> no, it's just this one event here. It's okay. I can do this. I can't do this. I mean, how hard can it be? I mean, we have so many chances to get everyone else, too. 
Yes. Come on. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Kokichi, please. Stop being here. Get a new kid's grade and sleep. It's time for good little boys, for good little supreme leaders and bad little supreme leaders to go to bed and sleep. It's late. I don't want to sleep yet. I'm feeling so lonely. Well, that's your problem and not mine. I have a lot of other problems. I will take care of you, but not right now. Please. Okichi wants desperately to be the official love sweet scene after this thing. I'm not sure. Am I able? Do I, am I doing something wrong? Let me look at something. I should be able to get these people, like all of these. I'm only getting like four. Four out of how many are we? I want to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. From twelve people, I'm only getting like twenty-five percent. Always. Constantly. I I'm so tired. Literally. I'm so tired, come on. It's like I can't get anyone from Angie's group. That's also a thing. I'm just like sitting here and thinking, what am I doing? As soon as I get someone from Angie's... <gasps> no, 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 no. Okay. 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 So we skip that. Oh, so much wasting time. Oh, and I really wanted to save more time this part. To get more into the story. But I guess... The freaking people are not ready to do this with me. I will not give up. It's probably just this test of perseverance. You know what I mean? Dum -dum, ta -dum -tum -tum -dum. Can you please back off now? Please back off. You know this feeling when you know you're totally screwed? It's how I feel. <laughs> like literally. I'm so exhausted from seeing the same people now for such a long while. Please. I have a feeling I can't get anyone from the group. Like, what is this? I'm only getting all the people, not even Kaito, you know, like only the people who are basically not a, a so associated with Angie. So, I will try only a few times now and if I don't get someone from Angie's group, it's going to be, you know, because this is not something... Some, if this is not a coincidence that I can't get them. So. Oh, God damn it. God damn it, Maki. I mean, from all the people who are who I'm seeing right now only, like even Mio, they are not associated with Angie and anyone else from the group of her. No one is in my freaking event right now. And this is insane. This is not this is not freaking luck. I'm not this bad at the luck. I don't think so. I think it's really just a game thing right now. Which is kinda cool, but kind of really annoying too. So I'm not sure. I don't know anymore. I'm so sick. Let's just do Mio's. Let's just keep doing hers. 
and save of hers. I, I can't anymore. I'm so, so... I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm, I'm, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on here, but... Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm so done with this. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry if anyone's like pissed off by with me not doing this, but I've tried now for what? For almost over 10 minutes, but I didn't got anyone else. So, I'm just going to keep it I'm just going to keep it like this and continue on because I really want to know a little bit more. I don't oh god. Speak of a devil. Well, look how small he is. Oh my god, like I can't. This was too much. <laughs> I've seen too much of you and of Q and God damn it. <laughs> I'm so done. At least I got my thing with Mew, which is nice. I'm so mad that I didn't got anything else. Like maybe I should try doing this um uh, this event. Maybe I should have tried doing this uh you know Maybe I'll try it out, but not right now. I will now continue on. So let's see what he has to say. Shuichi. He says also a thing that he's calling us our name is also interesting. I think so far Kokichi has been calling our name, but Shuichi himself never really called his name. He calls like Maki, Kirumi, Kibo, Kaito. He calls everyone's names like ba like on the basic you know, on the basic speech that he's uh, saying oc occasionally, but just like this, he never said anything. He never said anything to Kokichi, like saying Kokichi. You know what I mean? The only person who says it is Kibo, but he also says it like Kokichi. <laughs> you know, like in a very like in the warning tone. So let's see. Good morning, Shuichi. Oh my God, I have finally some FaceTime. Okay. G good morning. I, n I never saw you that often in the morning, Kukichi. Hey! Are you heading to the dining hall? <laughs> Same here. I'm too hungry to do anything. <laughs> but uh, now I'm sad. What? With Kirumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. Oh, man. <laughs> God. <laughs> I give anything to taste mom's miso soup again. Oh my god. No. Uh Kirumi's not your mother, Bo. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh yeah. You think I don't know that? Oh what? Are you just messing with us? Alright. Well, see you later, alligator. Have you had a good night's sleep? <laughs> no, I didn't have it. God damn it. What does he mean by this? Maybe he talked about his real mother. So he's like basically being very childish again, saying, Oh no, I'm sad, I'm hungry. Okay, usually what kids think. Eat delicious meals. So he basically just said he said that he can't eat delicious meals in a basic sense, but when he says, I give anything to taste mom's miso soup again. Maybe it's something about his motor video, maybe it's his mom. I don't know, but he said in his video event that his parents are not alive anymore. And then he says, like, Akrumi is not your mom, though. Oh, yeah, you think I don't know that. So he's referring to his mom, basically, not Kirumi. Very interesting. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> well, let's go right outside. So it's too much. It's too early to bother with Kokichi right now. It's too much. I've seen too much of him. These things, though. What is going on here? There's Maki. I'm glad. She's okay. At least she seems to be okay. 
to look around for a little bit of Monokuma doll actions. She's just like running extremely fast outside and then going really slow again in the freaking hallway because you can't run in the hallway, right? It's against the rules or something. Alright, nothing here. Just gonna be right with you, Maki. Just gonna check out some things. Okay. Oh, there's Q. Oh, God, Q. The people, all the people that wanted so much to spend some time with me in the freaking love hotel scene are around here. Everyone else, though, well, is not. Which is making me quite sad because I like everyone. To see them ignore us like this, breaking my heart. Alright, well. Let's see now what is happening around here. Alright. First of all, Maki. Maki! Yeah, like see? Like sure she's always very enthusiastically greeting everyone except Kokichi, so far at least. Uh good morning, Maki. Hey. Hey, you okay? Huh? Oh, because of yesterday. Mmm. Okay. What do you mean? Nope. If you don't know, then don't worry about it. No. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, if you say it like that, it makes me worried. Well, I got stopped at the student council while I was going back to my room last night. Fucking piece of shit. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime anymore. Huh? What? Why? It's not breaking the rules, is it? Okay. They said it's because Kirumi committed her crime during nighttime. <sighs> Aww. And then Angie gave her usual Atua says speech. Atua. Well. Yeah. Wrecking Atua is a real mastermind in this game. We shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but soon enough. What's the point? Well, I'm not sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. God damn it, Maki. It's true. We should do something about this. With a student council running things like this, a rift might form in the group. It already did. And then we'll be in a situation we can't go back from. And resurrecting the dead is going to be a problem as well. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I guess this type of mode of thing with uh, everything like splitting us apart is quite interesting. Hey Q. Oh. Good morning Q. God damn it, Q, why did you always try to get me in my sleep? What do you mean, Shrishi? Uh, nothing. Nothing about ropes. Did you say? No, I didn't say. It's okay. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Are you going to have breakfast as well? Okay. Yeah, are you coming? Yes. Indeed. I also intend to do some research and organize my lab today. Alright. If you are able, can I request your assistance? Oh. Hey. Organizing your lab? With all the stuff in that bookcase, it must be hard. However... Oh, not at all. That bookcase is a mountain of treasures. Oh. I found things besides the cage dog, the village documents, the, de the details, the detail of our seances. Oh. I see. But the one I am most interested in is, of course, the caged child. Wow, the seance again. Listen. In any case, will you? I would like to sort my various documents. Well, will you assist me? Uh, okay. Yeah, sure, if I have time. Yes. Excellent. Please drop by at your earliest convenience. Well then. Why is he so keen on making me help him with his freaking lab? This is making me... Ugh. I don't know what to think about this. Q's been talking about seances non-stop lately. Yeah. He's obsessed with it. Yeah. Mm. This is making me so frightened about something that might happen. Alright, let's go the long way. 
Please tell me I can see someone from the student council. If I want him to call it like this. God damn it. I can't run in the you look I can only find the people I can actually spend the situational uh you know circumstance like I can God damn it, like I could only spend time in the freaking love hotel scene with Miu, Kyu, Kokichi and me me uh, Maki. God damn it. Not Kaito because he was sick and everyone else is in the student council. I'm so surprised by that because this is not possibly just a coincidence. I can't believe this. So Mew. <laughs> even he's with Mew. <laughs> Mew! <laughs> so cute. Ah, uh, Mew, good morning. What was that? God damn. What the hell's all this morning chatter about? I'm fucking tired. Um. Did you stay up all night with a computer? <laughs> yeah, I get st I stayed up with you last night. Uh what? Uh no, um uh what? What am I saying? Because <laughs> that thing is amazing. The more I research it, the more excited I get. I see. So good! Oh my god. Uh, I bet it won't let me sleep tonight. At this rate, I might pull all my groin muscles. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, Mew, are you okay? Holy crap. <laughs> oh shit. This was kind of concerning. Mew, what happened to you? I'm not sure, but it seems everyone is going insane a little bit. The only reasonable person right now is actually Kokichi in some way, and Kaito if he would be around, but he's not. Which makes it not better. I should just go to the dining hall. I'm so afraid, guys. At least anything that's not like anything that's about to happen. Oh my god, I don't even know. What am I saying? What's happening? Yeah, okay. I should just go to the dining hall. What are you doing, Shuichi? Get a grip on yourself, man. Oh boy, what will we see? Oh my god. Hi. Yeah, there they all are. Oh, Kaito's there too. Okay, let me save because I have a music stopped, you know, shit's about to hit the fan real quick. Oh god. I already heard something about angry in the freaking text, so that's cool. Let's see. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. I bet I know who it was. Don't screw yeah, up. I knew this was Kaido because he would not let this get like just turn out like this. <laughs> Wonderful story. Great, thanks music. Uh, quit messing around. Don't just do whatever you want. Huh? huh? But I have a choice blessing. Yep. All about her culture. That's right. Yeah, we have a tooth blessing, and I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Mm. Huh. I know you claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we've said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What the shit? What? What is going on? Guys? <laughs> Cookie just like, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry, guys. Can someone make me some miso soup? Alright, what do you think, Anta? So hey. council has spoken. The decision for everyone's sake. The decision of a student council? What does that mean? Is Kaido upset about it? Is that about not walking around at night? Is that about that? I don't understand why everyone's getting so mad. This is so, so the killing game won't happen and we'll have a peaceful life here. Oh my god. Listen We're doing closely. this to eradicate the killing game and to bring peace to the school. You want that too, don't you, Shuichi? Don't put me on the line like this, okay? 
The mm. most important thing is peace in the academy. That's what we're working towards. This is for your guys' sakes too, you know? Oh my god, this is just reasoning the things that are not reasonable. Ugh, degenerate males. Damn it. What? I should defend the student council. Don't make me throw you, Shuichi. Oh my god, what is going on here? What was that? Fuck you, Atua. Don't just act on your own without hearing our opinions. Mainly mine. Oh my god. I will talk to. Got a minute? Go and stop Kaito. Yelling at each other won't get anything done. Okay, so I need to talk with Kaito maybe. And Angie maybe. So let's see what they have to say. Listen. Alliance on a god is unavoidable, but dependence is problematic. Repentance is a trait of one with a corrupted mind, the only thing we can truly depend on is love. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Mio, I mean, thank you. Oh my god. Men who say creepy things like that are worse than co workers who won't stop talking to you. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. What, what was that fight all about? I should hear from Kaito. Yeah, so definitely not happy. Alright. They may call themselves the student council, but it seems Atua makes all their decisions. Meaning they care little for the wishes of the students to begin with. Yeah, kind of. Ugh, degenerate males. No, don't throw me. What do you think, Okichi? What is going on? Oh, man. Uh oh, a trouble again already. Well, I knew this was gonna happen. Of course I knew this. What do you mean by that? Angie, what did you do? Why, Why is everyone so upset? I've already been granted permission by a tour. Alright, so it's Kaito. Kaito! It's, a, it's um. time to talk. What's going on? Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. What? The huh? manhole? Mm. The shit? Gone to put heavy rocks on top of manhole, so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. The shit? I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonta handle it this time. Sure, uh, it's okay, Himiko. I see. Um, Why would you do that? Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Guys, don't bring her up. Listen you up. said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around. What the shit? Damn it! She just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're That's right. why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear Atua after all. Oh my god. Aww. Man, she's the last cause. Plain Jane's like her arch total rubes when it comes to cults. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Sumagi, so thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Uh? Thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. <laughs> wow, okay. I've been wondering. Does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Oh, goodness. She has her own fantasy about him. Atua has whatever features you desire. Yeah, oh, shit. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Yep. Oh, my god, Angie. Angie, this is so slick. So sly and slick of you. Look at Sumugi, she's so happy about this. Handsome gods, good looking gods, 
Whatever you want is watching with you. You're never alone. Playing with these desires of loneliness with people. Ah, oh, the manipulation is too real. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Oh god, no. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Okay. Jeez, oh. Precious! Oh, God, no. So cool. Atua's just so cool. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I, feel, I think I feel the same way as Kokichi. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. Oh, shit. They're all gonna die. They're all, they're all gonna punish and kill us all. Slaughter us like clams. But, 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 why are you guys so mad about the manhole being covered? The truth is, is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here. You, you haven't given up? Oh, you haven't no. given up? Uh, oh. what the hell's wrong with you guys? I see. What the shit? The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? what? Titan, are you calling me Liz? That reminds this me. shit. You were in your computer room past night time yesterday, weren't you, Mio? Oh. What? Eh? So, so, what if I was? By the so way. was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past night time. Hey. Shuichi, you too, right? Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says what so. the shit? Atua is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking... What? But the student council? From walking at night time. Huh? What the... Okay, so you, you're setting up some things that I don't like now, Angie. This is such a freaking, you know, such a preparation for anything that could go wrong. Stop what, it! Uh, what, do, what I do is, and why I do it, is none of your fucking business. No, no as long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However. What the shit? Why is the student council except, exempt from the your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Yeah. Like, Jesus, you're just... She's literally keeping, like, four people in the rooms. Like, five. Yeah, you know, including, of course, Trinity, so... Yeah. Uh. yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm not worried about the student council. I don't want to leave anymore. Mm. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends. And best of all, a tour. Right? Oh my god. So what else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know? Yeah! Yeah Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always this is getting out of hand. Some serious out of hand manipulation right there. D don't be stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's like enough. hell I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. Shit. Dude, what's going on? One of them, please do something. Are you all fighting? Um, uh, I don't think so. I think that maybe we're not actually fighting. <laughs> oh shit. I am, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Yeah, sure, did you see Kaito? I don't think it's... I don't think it's a very friendly one. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You we want you to get even closer with each other. I don't like this getting closer thing anymore. Monotam, I don't like this idea. That's wonderful. No. Freaking hell. So we brought this. A flashback light. What the... It's part of our... Use the flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. Thanks. What? The memories are always like a big 
a big point in this whole mode of things, so I guess this might cause some trouble. Like some serious mode of killing trouble. Well, I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember a plan named that long. Mm -hmm. Ah, let me see that. Ah, uh, what? What the hell? Suddenly, Angie grabbed a flashback light from his hands and... Uh, what the shit? Oh! Oh, what the shit, Angie! <gasps> she threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. <laughs> oh shit. Angie, what the actual fuck? The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? What? Why? The fuck? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. Yeah? But we don't need those memories anymore. Oh my god! We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here. At the Ultimate Academy! Angie, what the fuck? <sighs> oh god. Oh no, if you don't use a flashback, our plan is a bust. Hey. What are we gonna do, Monodem? Oh god. Monodem is not happy about this. Oh god, he's gone. Ah. Hey, he ran away. Hey, Monodem! Wait. I think he's sad. So long. Farewell. Yep, he's sad. <laughs> okay, this is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Angie, what are you doing? What the shit? Oh dear. What the shit, girl? We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. You stupid woman. You foolish woman. That's There's no right. reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right. Yeah, it's it's pointless now. What the shit, guys? It's making me. Always messing around. Yeah, man, it's making me so mad. I feel the same way as you, Kaido. Why, you? You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. God. Sorry, but you should take that up with Atua. Oh, the man. shit? Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for the... You know what? You know what? Oh. oh. You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? The shit? If you resurrect someone, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing on Kaido, okay? No one else. I what knew it. What are you planning? Because, just a necessary precaution, the more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. A necessary precaution? Uh... Um, what if we get another time limit motive, like that one that got Rantaro killed? Shouldn't yeah. we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? <gasps> you... You're going way too far. Uh, um. You mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrect us? What You're is going it? to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. This thing is so messed up. This is so fucked up. Life cannot always be fun and smiles. I too must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... We must submit to Atua's will if we are aware to live a peaceful sh school life. Yes. Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, nothing we can do about it. Great job, guys. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, it's just like Atua says. Tanko, please. What? I feel you, Kaito. 
I feel you with every viber of my being and I feel the same way. <laughs> just Kaito and Shuichi both are so like horrified by this outcome. <laughs> oh, are you serious about this? Did you forget that things are motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. motive is of no concern to us as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. Well, you know. What the fuck? By the way, who are you going to resurrect? That's the real question, Rekakechi. Good point. What? Man, what kind of stupid question is that? Ah. Uh... Man. Huh. After discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is. Cause Atua says so. What? Rentara Amami. Rentaro? Huh? Because. Uh. Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Kaede and Kirumi. No criminals like Ryoma who violated the rule against sharing one's murder video. Which leaves Rentaro as the only one who'd be of use to the student council. Ooh. True, Rantaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. Yeah. Are you going to bring him back? Oh shit. Okay, no. Rantaro. Oh god, his voice. Oh god, this has been too long. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little bit weird, but uh, does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Yeah. But, no, no, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. Yeah. He's dead. Kaede killed him. Exactly. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Pray I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Yeah, you're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Oh my god. Well Well then. Why why is Tenko even there? Is it just because of Himiko? Well then, let's go. <laughs> ah, Yanara. I am so done. Look at us, we are so little against all of them. Such a little group. If Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. My god. What she acts it? like she's carrying out a two as well, but this is her will, isn't it? Kind of. It's complicated. However. Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey! Jesus Christ. When it's an all-out war against the student council, six versus six, we can win this. Oh, I- oh, we are- oh, I guess we are not more than us. It, it makes sense, yeah. Are we six? Wait. Kaito, Shuichi, Maki, Kichi, Mio. Okay, no, we are. Oh, that's nice, but I don't feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Can we? God damn. <laughs> what the shit? Also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. Come on, girl, do it. No. What the shit, Kokichi? What are you saying? Uh, no, we have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Oh man, sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. Oh boy. By what about way. you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not mocking you. <laughs> I mean, you're such a nice, intelligent little bastard. <laughs> Kaito! Oh no! Oh no, Kaito! What's going on? Huh? Oh my god! Kaito, baby! I didn't want to give him a hug. He's so... He looks so scared. Or so worried. So frightened. Oh my god. So nervous. I never saw him so timid. Oh my god. He looks so much smaller like this. It's breaking my heart. Not to see him smile. Huh? You say something? Oh, damn! Oh my god, I never saw you like that, man! Oh, you're frightening even me over here. 
what are we going to do? What are we going to do if even Kaido is like getting this worked up? Uh oh, someone was zooming out. Jesus. Oh, Kaito! Kaito, something doesn't seem right. Oh no, baby! Baby! <laughs> Protect at all cost. I'm down to resurrect the dead. If I just gonna be sacrificed after coming back anyway. Wow. Doesn't matter if they die once, twice, or a hundred times. As long as they're dying instead of me, their death isn't going to waste. This is actually pretty fucked up of you, Mew. What? Uh, yeah, like, girl, come on. What? Why are you glaring at me? Please forgive me. Mew, don't go too far, okay? Y you should wait for your boss to drop before you try to side eye me. Sure, I will. Please forgive me. No. Yeah. Mio, you know, at least you understand your fault. Oh my god. Do you um. think there's a way to get both sides to understand each other? Huh? What? Hey. Damn, that's a proposal. You said it earlier, right? No. Uh, I don't know right now, but I know that nothing will be as resolved talking like this. What's the point? I don't think the student council members will change their minds. That's true, but... There are two sides to this. Why don't we just remove one of them? Eh, uh, Maki, please. What? Huh? Maki? Maki? Calm down. Maki, Angie. No, no, we can't do that. Removing them won't resolve anything. So what? God damn it, Maki. I have to keep you also in line. Do I have to look out for everyone? <laughs> God damn it, guys. I know that already. It's just an option in the world I'm from. Just think about it. That's all. I should slaughter every one of them. Maki. Oh. No, don't leave. God damn it. Well. Resetting the dead is impossible. Even if it wasn't, would we really want to come back? Do you think they'd want to come back and live through this situation again? I want. I wonder. Even if they come back, the killing game would continue. Just because they died once doesn't mean they won't try anything. Yeah, I don't even want to think about that actually. Listen. No one can go against Angie at the moment, but what's even more worrying? Her followers may begin acting on their own, using her name as an excuse. That's a good point. That's, okay. that's one way of looking at it. Like, we are the logical group right now. We six. And that's a thing. Because we are all special nuggets in this whole group. I mean, like, really special. Kyo because he's Ki Kyo. Miu because she's Miu. Maki because she's her, like... And I was like, Jesus Christ, what a group to form. <laughs> I didn't expect this. <laughs> where are where is where are all my sweethearts? Where are all the freaking Angie because she knows we're sweet and pure and gullible, god damn it. She used them and her sweetness. It's making me nervous. That means that we mature logical people need to think about something. Except you, Kokichi, you can think but don't try anything too much, okay? Because it's that? really interesting that we're all now discussing this as a logical group, which is so, so interesting. Huh? Arresting bitch face and creep show starting to feel sympathetic? <laughs> are you fucking shitting me? Arresting. <laughs> oh my god, Mew. Creep show and resting. God, no. Uh, uh, I mean, I understand what you're trying to say. Fucking slugs! But with numb nuts, <laughs> Kaido isn't following along at all. Explain it for him. Kaito. Uh, Kaito? Um. He's still zooming out. <laughs> Seems like it. He didn't even respond to Mio teasing him. 
Well, you know. well that's just a side of it, pathetic mess for now. Just explain everything for the stupid bitch that in her curtains. <laughs> oh my god, you both are no good. Mio and freaking Kokichi, you both you both need the kiss great, and we have a perfect person for this. I'm on it. <laughs> he insulted me. What the shit? Such a such a situation is common among groups with absolute leaders. To gain the favor of the leader or to sacrifice themselves to their faith. The followers begin to take more radical actions. Which means God damn it. Which means they might crack down on us to make Angie's rule more comfortable. What the shit? Because we all are seemingly also rulers, like leader roles. <laughs> no freaking way, guys. I'm the ultimate one, okay? Huh? Eh? Rule over us. Uh, uh, that Why? might become a problem down the line. Well. Yeah. Well, I doubt they'd start with that, but it's only a matter of time. Yeah, that's the point. God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking this shit. Well, you're pretty worked up about this, aren't you? Yeah, I am, okay? This is not cool at all. Uh, guys. What type of forming is this? I miss my little nuggets. I miss everyone so much. Anything else? Listen. Well. Yeah. Please forgive me. <laughs> well. Yeah. Anything you have to say, man? Oh yeah, if you want to start a war against the student council, we should wait until after the resurrection ritual. Uh, Okichi, um, you want to go along with this motive? Because, because it sounds fun, don't you want to see the resurrection ritual too? Oh, uh, but Angie wants to make Rantaro the transfer student, huh? Hmm. I don't want him to come back to life. What? Why? Huh? It's cause I love you most, <laughs> What the shit? It's cause I love you most, Shuichi. I'm always thinking about... <laughs> Where did this come from? And your driver Sika Ada brought back to life, huh? Yeah. So what the shit? What? <laughs> Can you please back off a little bit of your... Yeah. You're so admirable. It's why I want to support you. It's a oh, lie. wait, that's a lie. Okay, so it's the truth, I see. I see. Well, you know. Oh my god. Come to think of it, I once saw this anime that was also about a death game. Okay. The mastermind sacrificed a, fam a family member as the first victim to get the killing started. Oh, is this a reference to the first game? When Junko like, killed her own sister, you know? The curl with the spears. Huh? Uh, sacrificed a family member? As in, killed them? Oh. Damn. Yeah, as a show of force. Maybe that's what happened to Rangiharo. Actually, that's what... That's, just, that's what I was thinking along the lines too, like, it just seems so weird. We still don't know what the fuck Rantaro did in the library during that time, you know? Like, what was he doing there? We never figured that out. Never. And we never talked about it again. And it's so interesting that you brought, it, brought this up. But if Rantaro was working for the Mastermind... But what if Rantaro was working for the Mastermind? Bringing him back might be a bad idea. Oh, shit. No. Damn. No, that's idiotic. My child couldn't have been working for the mastermind. Maybe. But... But is it really impossible? 
We only knew Ranchara for a short time. Yeah, that's the point. He did seem as though he was kind of used to the killing game. Oh, man. <laughs> it looks like you're starting to understand what I'm getting at, Shuichi. Oh, I can see that glimmer in your eyes. Oh, isn't that just adorable? I love it so much about you. God damn it, man. Well, no matter what we say, Angie's probably dead set on who the transfer students will be. Right? If he comes back to life, and that's that. Nothing we can do except look forward to that. To it. God damn it. Yeah. Oh my god. What the shit are you talking about, boy? <laughs> no matter who that you say, I just probably. Right? Right! <laughs> right! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can't. I will never get over this fucking laugh. Oh. What else did you say? Like, the thing about before, the, this... Oh my god. I don't want him to come back to life. Why? Because I love you most, Richie. Most of you I'm always thinking about you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now he thinks it's... This is... I don't know about this. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. But definitely Kokichi sees it. Uh, Shuichi is definitely onto Kaede. And he wants... So he wants to support us. And that's the truth. Yeah. Sacrifice a member. You know? Ancharo told us that he has sisters. And now that he's. He said that a family member sacrificed to get the killing game started. Hasn't killed them? Yeah, show force. A family member hasn't killed them. My mind is now boggling. Like, he said he has sisters, I think. What the shit? Maybe if it's... I don't know... I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Let's just do this right now. Oh, Kokichi, why do you say these things? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> He's always messing with us. Kaito, my baby, what's wrong? Kaito! Um, Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Do you want a hug? I want a hug. Stop it. Back off. I'm with Kaito now. Oh, mm. uh, oh, it's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. He doesn't like the cold, isn't it? If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. <laughs> oh, that's a kind of a reference to, I think, Akane in the second game. She did the same thing, like, oh, I have this huge... You know, this huge uh, freaking open wound on my head. Let's just rub some spit in it and it'll, it'll be better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? <laughs> yeah, it was a reference. Uh, anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Oh man. Uh, there's no way. It's just not possible. <sighs> Damn it. No. I can't stop these chills. <laughs> oh, my Kaito is so. He is really afraid of our cold. Huh? My bad. Oh, sorry, guys. My bad. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my room. Kaito. Kaito left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. What was that right about? Is he getting sick? Uh, we were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> yeah, sh yeah, that's right, Kokichi. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. God damn. Hmm. You seem to be enjoying this. God freaking darn it. You're killing me inside. 
The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. All right. Oh. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same as Kaeris. Get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. Alright, we have more free time. That's interesting. I didn't thought it would have so much more free time, but okay, I have to really end this part right here, guys. I am so done, especially the love hotels. The love suit thing was really... That thing really tilted me so, so badly. I'm just gonna save on this slot. And yeah, I will maybe hang out now with other people that I want to hang out with. I hope I can. With Gonta and with uh, Maki, definitely. But I hope I can hang out with Gonta too and Sumugi. Hopefully. But I'm not sure because after what we experienced, um, we might not be able to. Yeah, he doesn't... Look, he dislikes the occult. It says it right there. So... Yeah, it shouldn't surprise us that he's now not feeling well about it. But yeah. But guys, yeah, I will probably now end this right here. Look at all my little nuggets that I finished. Oh. Yeah, but... Damn it, I'm so afraid of something happening, man. Oh man, this is all just the... I don't know how it will go, guys. I'm seriously... I have no idea. It's always points like to us doing something, like our logical group, but also towards the, um, you know, the Angie, like a believing group, the gullible ones, that are getting more... I don't know. You know what they say, like they're getting more um, radical, what uh, Kyo said, which is a pretty... That's a very interesting thing to say because that's actually probably the case in most situations. I think like in wars it happens often or in other religious um, wars. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys know more about that. But I can definitely see the psychological, you know, effect there. So, yeah. But in that whole situation, I'm so glad I did Angie's sweet time event because... I can understand why she can say these things so simply with such a mindset. It makes just simply a lot of sense in her in her case. So yeah, that's really really interesting. But still, I'm afraid how it will turn out, guys. I'm so afraid for Kaito because he's not feeling well, and it's not it's it's so it it really broke my heart to see him so you know so frightened about this because he always was smiling he was always full of confidence full of support for you the one who's always got you back up on your feet and now he is the one who's you know who's uh, who's so who's so shaken up by this whole situation i don't know how it will be with him now in this chapter at least i i bet he will not even like the you know the fourth floor she will probably hate it. But yeah. When Tara will come back, huh? So what Kokichi said about the stupid freaking hint, like what he said, so the sister, like the family members killed someone as a as an act of to start the killing. Because like I've said, the mystery about why he died, like why was he there? Why was it him? Why, like, how did that happen? That's what we never figured out. And now that Kokichi said this, it's making it quite interesting because I know that Trancharu said at some point during the nail event that he had sisters and this is why he was affected in some sense by them. Interestingly enough, kind of similar maybe to Kyu over here, but he has some different thoughts about yeah, some special thoughts. Yeah, I mean, we don't need to go more into this, but yeah, it's it's interesting. I can understand what her logic is about deciding who might be resurrected, but guys, yeah, but that's like all from my side so far. I'm not sure how it will turn out, but I can say for now, I'm very curious to know what you say 
about the situation up until this point. Like I've said, I'm not sure if I'll be able to always, you know, respond, but I can tell you one thing, that I'm always reading your comments, I will try to respond in my, you know, during these videos to show, yeah, no, to kind of like process your thoughts a little bit, clarify some things and put my own, uh, you know, my own ideas into it. So, yeah, that's like how I will probably do it. So, hopefully it's alright with you guys and hopefully you could enjoy this part because it was some events there, so many emotions, so many things happening. I was probably acting so aloof and weird because I'm s it's so late, guys. I can't even think straight anymore. So, yeah, I really hope you still have a good day or a good night. And you can leave a like, comment and subscribe, guys. I really appreciate that. And I'm very grateful for all of your great, uh, wonderful comments, for your thoughts. I'm always loving them. So no matter how long they are, just... Just you can write me anything, I will be very great, uh, grateful for it. Any critique, anything, any ideas, any information. Like I've said, I appreciate it a lot. Always thankful for that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say for you on this part. So guys, like I've said, have a wonderful day or night. And we'll see each other in the next part when on Let's Play Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. So until then guys. See ya.